everyone. Welcome to NSSC Tech Time. With me, I have Shubhadi Bhrai. Now, he is here who has created a history. A history is, he has backed the highest package for freshers in the history of NSCC. Not 10, not 12, not 20, a whopping 62 lakhs package. Okay. Shubhadi, heartiest congratulations to you. Thanks to you and thanks to everyone who has like I'm really grateful for this opportunity to be here and be able to share like what it's like. Okay, great. So Shubhadeep, you passed out in 2024, right? Yes, sir. So and you joined somewhere around 2021, just after COVID. Uh, mm, yeah, the up. batch was 2020 to 2024. 24, right. Yes. So just explain your journey. I mean, this four years long you have been with us. Your entire campus life, how did you, you know, cope up and how did you, uh, what are your key secrets so that people who are following you with this kind of package you've got, they are, I'm sure you will be mentoring a lot of them. So just share your journey with us. So like, yeah, 2020, I utilized that time and I uh, used that like when I was like uh, during the time uh, I was in the morning I, I was just attending my classes and I got more times as no traveling was there to like go to college come to home getting fresh so so I I utilized that time and um, like um, actually the interesting thing happened is when I came around a YouTube video and the guy was I think Aman Dhatarwal if you know so he was mentioning that off-campus placement so I was I didn't have any clue like what is on campus what is off campus and he was like um, referring the fact that there are three type of tier in, in India there are three type of tier colleges tier one are like IITs uh, all the IITs like IIT Kharagpur, IIT Delhi, IIT so, and uh, tier 2 college was NITs, BITS Pilani and tier 3 was uh, all the private colleges like include no, Netaji, I believe Netaji Suvaj is also a uh, tier 3 college. So and also he uh, like mentioned the tier based on the placement ratio like uh, if you see the tier 1 colleges only Google, Microsoft, uh, those companies visit and they hire a bunch of students. For the tier 2 college, good companies, Flipkart, Cred, all the st good startups and sometimes occasionally Google and Microsoft, those MNCs also visit. But for tier 3, the situation is a bit different. Uh, like MNC visit, but uh, they don't offer usually like above 30 LPA. So, and by, but I got to know from that video that there is this thing called off campus where you can, if you prepare well, you can actually like not go in a traditional route rather you can go like uh, reach out to recruiters connect via LinkedIn apply to career job portals so I got to know that off campus and then that uh, that trigger happened like okay so if this is possible then like let's like do something and also I have also read this book called the magic of thinking big during that time so which motivated me to do something big so I challenged myself that by second year like it's uh, legit like I, I it's still giving me goosebumps but uh, I, I I challenge myself that by second year I would be interning at Facebook San Francisco headquarter okay, okay. and that was a big challenge mm -hmm. but no one is like uh, pulling me to not having a big dream so I, I just dreamed okay and uh, I just research a lot learn what it takes to be intern at Facebook at second year then I realized the data structure algorithm is a topic which like the interview is mostly focused on data structure algorithm mm -hmm. so coding basically so I, I actually mastered that during that time I actually applied a bunch of internship uh, roles uh, my first internship role interview I applied for Twitter I even got a uh, test which is online assessment uh, over internet and I just did and I actually also followed that motto that the more you fail the more you succeed so I intentionally failed okay. and my intention was not get into Twitter during that moment but I like tested how, what it feels like what are the what is the platform looks like when you are giving a test so I get to know this platform hacker rank this is how uh, like it you have a uh, window 
one hour window where you have to solve two questions mm-hmm. and those two questions were data structure algorithm based and during that time i just started preparing data structure algorithm so i was not able to do that problem like do those solvable not able to solve those problems then again i like and i during the whole time i followed youtube tutorials because there are a bunch of youtube tutorials out there to uh, focus specifically for data structure algorithm uh, that fang based companies facebook amazon microsoft google so uh, shubhadeep apart from the course which your btech has offered yes. to value add yourself yes for value addition did you follow something uh, different something extra uh, yes so uh, so like in our in our college curriculum the subjects were like uh, maybe the networking fundamentals which i need is was in third year Mm-hmm. um i think it was in 6th semester okay. the dbms was in 5th semester but i was as i was my goal was to go there by second year mm-hmm. i uh, like i learned that by myself okay. at uh, at i think end of first year or mm-hmm. the starting of second year i completed the networking fundamentals i completed database management those those were there but as my goal was a bit different so i have to like go there my my own so i took the responsibility of so learning that you got your job and you need a dream company right uh, you can uh, say uh, you got the job, right? uh, okay just tell tell what the name of the company first so i am currently working as a infrastructure engineer at dynamo ai dynamo so, ai yes and where i am working mostly with the ai infrastructure and this is the right now the you thing know. so the world is heading towards great uh, can you just uh, tell us about the interview process that you had gone through i mean the okay. entire process of your selection right from recruitment okay okay just, you know because a lot of students will be watching this and they would love to get motivated from this so okay. please share the entire journey of your interview process the way you okay. got selected yeah so i'm going to tell the entire thing okay sure. so there is <clears throat> okay so like how i got this skill so there is this skill like techni- technology called kubernetes kubernetes okay and uh, and this is a technology which is really hard mm-hmm. and uh, the more something is hard the like people usually not do that so it's like uh, low supply the demand is high so that kind of thing so so i i like analyze the market and found out that kubernetes is a th- uh, is one of them and i mastered kubernetes like i did two internship beforehand where i like worked on specifically on kubernetes and i took this bet that kubernetes would be the big thing mm-hmm. so i learned that and uh, did uh, like bunch of projects and uh, when like uh, my internship going to end so i was looking for different roles then i found out that dynamo ai is also looking a soft like uh, a individual who is has software engineering experience along with kubernetes and that role actually was senior engineer like 5 years of experience okay. uh, but i applied that there anyway mm-hmm. and also reached out to their director of engineering and the ceo mm-hmm. via cold email mm-hmm. that hey like i got this kubernetes experience uh, and software engineering mm-hmm. uh, so these are the projects i have worked on and i mentioned i have added the resume and i just mailed it like see Three day after, like they reached out to us that hey, we would love to schedule a call. Please, this is the link. Just schedule it. So I scheduled the call. My first call I scheduled was it was one thirty a.m. at midnight because those guys were from like San Francisco Bay Area, yeah. and and they didn't knew that I was actually yeah I I was from India, mm-hmm. and they thought so I just uh, during that time I like. Uh, interviewed for that role the first call was to get to know each other whether there is a fit or not mm-hmm. so so the first call was like director of engineering joined they asked me about my projects what you currently working on and why you want to join dynamo okay. uh, what are your intentions whether you are a so free or not i had one just a second one two three four 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 rounds of interview. Four rounds of interview. Any previous screening like GD or any? Mm, no, no, no. 
Yeah. So actually, uh, usually that's the process that you have to go through a online assessment like a, and, a, and then you can get a interview call but when i mentioned like uh, so they said that we are we have been looking to hire someone for like this role where you need kubernetes experience and we are not able to find a good match yeah. and we have been hiring for this role for the last 4 months mm -hmm. and we went over 10 candidates but still we haven't found so we just we just want to give it a shot so i said okay sure so the first round was uh, yeah so first round was data structure algorithm based mm -hmm. so which i mentioned at the first okay, okay. so i was so now the interesting thing is like i was preparing to get into facebook at second year preparing data structure algorithm and now data structure algorithm is helping me to ace the dynamo ai first interview so, uh, so first interview, okay, so sorry, that was second interview. First interview was that uh, introduction, like get to know each other. And after that, uh, the second inter interview went and we have to like, that was data structure algorithm based. And um, they asked me like, when you want to schedule the interview, I took two weeks time because I was working on different projects and I didn't have preparation for data structure algorithm. So after the data structure algorithm interview and I took two, two weeks of time, I prepared with lead code, neat code. There are a bunch of resources which I followed uh, along with all the topics. And after two weeks, I gave my interview. So, and I was asked to be an interview question based on their current system, like what they are working on. And um, the interview was one hour long. And uh, did you do any kind of R and D on the company before you appeared? Yes, actually. Company? So, uh, so this is very important because it's very important to know where you are working, where you are going to apply, and uh, from my experience, the interviewers also check whether the candidates is well versed with the company they're applying for. Yes. So you can share something on that. Yeah. So actually, uh, all I have always like uh, emphasized this that uh, before I have applied to any place. So I have just went through like whether this role, uh, like I am seeing myself working on in future. Mm -hmm. So that's more intent because I have feel that there are a lot of friends of mine who just applied for bunch of roles just to get a job. Mm -hmm. But my I, I already had an internship and I was working on. So I was really particular for where like I am investing my time. So I actually like, saw the company and I saw the opportunity to working in an intersection of AI and infrastructure and they are working in a compliance with AI and team was also great my uh, like all the ex Googlers there was this guy C Fee, who was who is also from Apple CD team mm -hmm. so like so like I'm really fortunate and I got to like I got to know that and so I, that's all and let's give it a shot great. and uh, yeah, so this is what I researched beforehand. Great. So, Shobhati, uh, where do you see yourself in the next, say, five years down the line? I mean, okay. at which level? Which? Yeah. Okay. So, currently I'm working as an infrastructure okay. and I'm working closely with startups. Okay. And I have also, like, been interested in, like, how startup works, interested in the startup culture. So... Uh, I am seeing myself working on uh, projects, maybe, so the goal is to work on something which would benefit humanity. humanity. Okay. So this is the goal, okay. whether I am working as a founding engineer, okay. whether I am working as a co-founder myself mm -hmm. or whether I am working as a founder myself. Great. So this is the goal and uh, because like we have limited time on earth. Okay. And uh, like when I will be gone, like I, I want to make sure that I left something behind which benefits humanity. That's the that's, that's, that's ultimate a, goal. That's a, so Shubhadi, uh, as a lot of people will be following you, right? Because you have set, set a benchmark, which no one yet has <laughs> set this much. So any message for the prospective students? Anything you want to okay, share? Okay, so follow your dream. People will be saying you that this can be done, but you have to find a way. It's there is a red card theory. Mm -hmm. Like if you want to buy a red card, then you will be able to see all the red cards around you. Mm -hmm. 
until unless you have committed to that i want to buy a red car okay. until unless you won't be able to see all the red cars in your neighborhood okay so that's how i like want to approach this like if you if you are dreaming something stick to it people will say that it can't be done but you just have to like invest in that and see around then you will encounter people they will going to help you eventually just make sure that you don't give up on your dreams dream is important and your future self will like uh, say thank you to because like uh, you are not giving up on your dreams absolutely absolutely and right our former president apj abdul kalam said ki dreams are not something you know which you watch you see when you're sleeping rather than dreams are yes. something which doesn't allow you to sleep yes i completely agree you completely agree with that yeah. right so so that's the message from shubhadeep to all the students i wish you all the best shubhadeep for your further journey you have thank a great you. career have a great life thank you thank you